So point clouds are captured by sensing devices or 3D perception systems. These devices are able to scan multiple points on the visible objects in the world. And they're able to store meaningful representations of the 3D structure and shape of these target objects in the point cloud data format. In order to create the point cloud, sensing devices must first measure the distance of every point sampled on the visible objects. Using the time of flight method, LiDAR devices send pulsating light rays and then measure the distance to every point using the speed of light and the time taken for the ray to return. On average, a LiDAR sends more than 160,000 rays per second. The distance calculated using the formula is stored as depth value in an image called the depth map. The second method is the triangulation method. In this, we use a stereoscopic camera and a pair of stereo images. And then we need a set of pixel correspondences in the two images that represent the same 3D point. Using these set of values and a simple formula based on trigonometric equations, we can calculate the depth passively for every point in the image. The formula uses distance between the stereo cameras, focal length, and the pixel coordinates U1 and U2 of the set of pixel correspondences. Next, we will convert the depth image into a point cloud. Let's imagine the point cloud in a three-dimensional space and embed the 2D depth image in this 3D space. At the origin of this 3D space is the sensing device conveniently located at O dash. Every point A dash in the point cloud and pixel A in the depth image fall on a straight line crossing through the origin O dash. A dash Z, which is the Z coordinate value of a point in the point cloud, is the distance of the point from the sensing device or the depth value in the depth image of the corresponding pixel. Next, we can note that O dash A dash Z A dash and O dash O A are similar triangles. Using the angle theta, which is common in both triangles, A dash X and A dash Y can be computed using A U A B and A dash Z. So for each pixel in the depth map, we can calculate the 3D point in the point cloud.
Point cloud can be used for multiple downstream applications such as segmentation, detect and track, and pose recognition. Besides this, multi-camera point cloud registration is another popular application of point cloud data. That's all the basics of point cloud. For more such videos, please like if you want me to cover efficiently sampling point clouds on the GPU as the next topic. Or please subscribe if you want me to cover multi-camera point cloud registration in the next video. Thank you for your time.